Hello and welcome. We are at the Indian Premier League's 2019 Grand Finale, and today the battle between two ever-loving teams, Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai Indians. Mumbai Indians won the toss and elected to bat first. Team Mumbai Indians coaches predicted, or their intuition said, that it's a batting pitch. Hence, they chose bat first. Now, the two strong openers from Mumbai Indians entering the ground. On strike is Dikok and off strike is Rohit Sharma. Deepak Chahar bowls his first ball to Dikok and he slices it off to take a single. After the slow start, Thakur bowls his first over to Rohit and he lifted it to a massive six. At the end of second over, Mumbai Indians scored a 10 runs for no loss. After playing a defense, Dikok proved that he is also an attacking player by hitting three huge sixes in Chahar's single over. Now, Harbhajan Singh bowls his first over to Rohit Sharma, and he tackles his bowling by hitting few singles and one boundary at the end. The Dikok hits a six in Thakur's over, but unfortunately, he caught out by. Mahendra Singh Dhoni really a breakthrough for Chennai at the end of fifth over Mumbai Indians scored 45 runs for one wicket and at the very next over Rohit Sharma caught out by Mahendra Singh Dhoni and now the captain goes off and he gone for 15 runs Now Ishan Kishan and Surya Kumar building their partnership to score a decent run well Kishan hits two boundaries on Bravo's over at the end of 10th over Mumbai Indians scored 71 runs for two wickets and now it's time for Surya Kumar to contribute for his team well he hits a boundary on Harbhajan's over and that could be caught by Jadeja but he didn't by the very next over Surya Kumar got bowled by Imran Tahir he goes for 15 runs Well, now Krunal Pandya joined hands with Kishan, but Krunal Pandya makes his wrong shot by his very few balls in Thakur's over. It's a bouncer, and he's trying to pull, but unfortunately, hits the top edge and caught by Thakur itself. Krunal goes for seven runs. Now, the big man pulled out on the crease to face Thakur's over. He hits a massive six within few balls. Tahir bowled a tricky leg spin to take Kishan's wicket and he goes for 23 taken by Suresh Raina. Now the best all-rounder Hardik Pandya joined hands with Pollard. Two great all-rounders going to build partnership in last five overs. Well, Pollard smashing all the balls to all the sides of grounds with fours and sixes. In the 17th over, Thakur bowled a bouncer attack. Hardik fortunately hits the ball to top and Suresh Raina underneath it but unfortunately he misses the catch. This was so cruel for CSK fans. Hardik and Pollard both hitting back to back sixes from Thakur's over but by Chahar's fabulous in swinging yorker hits Hardik's pad and it's an appeal for LPW from CSK and umpire raises his finger up Hardik goes for 16 runs Rahul Chahar and Pollard on the pitch Chahar bowled first ball to Rahul Chahar and his first ball was his last ball on this match yes he got caught by Duplessis for zero Mitchell comes out for Chris now Now a big mistake happened that Bravo bowled a wide to Pollard but umpire did not give wide to Mumbai Indians this make Pollard angry and he walks out of crease for reason now both caribbean boys are getting angry and Pollard biggy hits straight through the mid on Pollard hurrying for second run but Mitchell can't make it Duplessis hits stumps that was a good throw from him Mitchell goes for nothing At 19th over Bumrah gets on the crease and Pollard faces his 24th ball from Bravo by hitting continuous fours team Mumbai Indians scored 149 runs for 8 wickets and now Chennai Super Kings gonna make this decent target well let's see what will happen Now the two energetic openers are coming out to crease Shane Watson and Duplessis have to build good partnership for their team the target is 150 from 120 first ball from McLagan gonna check Duplessis batting form and he strikes the ball to four from the very first over and the next over from Krunal to Duplessis he hits to the air but Krunal misses the catch that is really close to his arm lucky for And now Watson on strike and hits his first boundary from Krunal's over. Now Malinga bowls to Faf. He made a defense and Watson came out of crease for a run. Duplessis is now hurrying to reach the crease, but he made it and the ball goes to the boundary by the throw. Krunal again back to his bowling and Duplessis hits boundary on his over. Again it's a six from Faf in Krunal's over and this is huge to the straight from middle of his bat. Four again from Duplessis on the offside, but the very next ball Krunal made his magic to got Faf wicket. Yes, it's a stump hit made by Dikok. Faf goes for 26 and it's 33 for one. Now Suresh Raina comes out for bat. Malinga to bat and he hits boundary to the offside. Again it's a six from him and this time leg side. Wow! Again he slices the ball to the boundary. Watson on fire folks really 
but as usual Malinga just smiling but, but the next over from McLagan to Reina, Reina faces his bouncer and unfortunately umpire thinks that ball may touch the gloves and he raises his fingers up but this side Reina asking for review and the third umpire gives not out. This is really a good news for CSK team and fans. Now Watson smashes a boundary on McLagan's over and the next ball he bowls a bouncer and Watson hits full shot to make six but unfortunately it rises up in the air and Malinga underneath it but he didn't make it. Losses the catch. And the next over from Rahul Chahas to Reina, Chahar hits the pads and appealing for LBW and the umpire raises the finger. But again, he is asking for review but this time he got out for 8 runs. Now, Raidu join hands with Watson. Hope this partnership will lead the team to success. But the next over from Bumrah doesn't make it. Yes, he got Raidu's wicket from his technical bouncer. Raidu goes for just one run, really massive pressure building for CSK and Mumbai Indian dominating in all manners. Now the king captain Dhoni walks in, Watson hits boundary to the leg side with a sweep shot in Rahul Chahas over. Next over from Hardik, Watson faces and hits leg side to make single but the miss throw makes Dhoni to get one more run but Kisan throw the ball to Stumps directly and this takes Dhoni's wicket. Really not good sign for CSK, Dhoni goes for 2 runs. It's 82 runs for 4 wickets. Bravo came out for bat. Rahul Chahar balls to Watson and he hits directly to his hand but he dropped the catch. Now Malinga to Bravo, he lifted it 6 on leg side and again Watson slices a 4 from Malinga's over. Again and again another 4 from him that brings up 50 runs from 44 balls. Unfortunately Bravo got caught out by Decock and he goes for 15 runs and it's 133 runs for 5 wickets. Now Ravindra Jadeja comes out for bat. He strikes the ball at the back of the boundary. So CSK needs 7 runs from 4 balls. Now Watson hits the ball. He tries to make a second run but confusion happening. And so he got out. He goes for 80 runs from 59 balls. Shadul Thakur comes out for bat. And now CSK needed 2 runs from 1 ball. Really nail biting time. Lost ball from Malinga to Thakur. Oh my god, it hits Thakur's pad and it's an appeal for LBW from Mumbai Indians. An umpire rises his finger up. Lash with Malinga, the hero, and Mumbai Indian have done it again. Four times champion of Vivo IPL.